I'm Nate Eaton outside the Bonneville County Courthouse where a preliminary hearing was held this afternoon for Brian Mitchell. He will go before a jury on a second degree murder charge involving the death of Derek Larson. This afternoon we heard from three different police detectives describing their interactions with Mitchell once he was arrested and evidence they found on the scene of Toffus Park where Derek Larson was killed. It was more than a half dozen different directions of blood spatter on the outside of this equipment. Um, I had arterial spurt. I had a high impact area at uh, one end of the platform. Um, I had swipe swiping through the blood where our victim had actually fallen against blood on the surface and fallen through it. Detectives testified that Mitchell told them he had been hanging out with Larson at the park. They were drinking and Mitchell fell asleep on a picnic table. When he awoke, Mitchell says Larson was performing oral sex on him. He said that he became upset with this. They exchanged a few words. He said Mr. Larson told him that something to the effect that he thought that it was okay, that they had discussed it previously. Mr. Mitchell said it was not okay. Mr. Mitchell told Mr. Larson he was going to sleep in the tube and not to follow him. Mr. Mitchell explained that Mr. Larson climbed in the tube wearing only his underwear. Mr. Mitchell explained that Mr. Larson tried to pull his pants down. Mr. Mitchell told him to stop and that if he didn't stop that he wasn't going to like what happened. Mitchell's attorneys argue that Larson was aggressive that night. They say that's what led to the stabbing and that Larson allegedly told him, quote, this is going to happen. Then Mr. Mitchell rolled over on top of Mr. Larson, grabbed a pocket knife that he kept on his belt and stabbed Mr. Larson. Stabbed him 20 to 27 times, according to an autopsy, and Mitchell's attorneys say it was self-defense. They claim Mitchell stopped stabbing Larson once he let go of Mitchell's clothes. And ultimately, his attorneys told the judge that Mitchell shouldn't be charged with second-degree murder, but manslaughter instead. There's been evidence presented that Mr. Mitchell stated he did not want to hurt this individual, he did not want to kill this individual, he just wanted this individual to stop what was happening. There has been evidence presented that Mr. Mitchell stabbed Mr. Larson a number of times, but the evidence also shows that the stabbing stopped once Mr. Larson let go of Mr. Mitchell. In the end, Judge Stephen Clark signed this case over to district court and Mitchell will next appear before a judge on November 3rd. Now, both Mitchell's and Larson's families were inside the courtroom this afternoon. Larson's family told me they have no comment. Mitchell's father told me he's sorry that two lives have been lost over this, that they hold no ill will toward anyone and they are praying for their son. For more coverage on this story, click on the links be below. For now, reporting at the Bonneville County Courthouse in Idaho Falls, I'm Nate Eaton, eastidahonews.com.